CataractCoach.com, how to save this run out capsule Rexes. It ran all the way out to the Zyler fibers. Now what? Ooh, tough case. Let me just show you here. So there, it's already been stained with tripan blue dye. Going in for some needle decompression through the presentes. I like that. Rock the nucleus a little bit. So decompress the capsule back. That's going to decrease the risk of Argentina flag sign, but obviously not eliminate it. A little more viscoelastic. Hey, this weekend, tomorrow, Saturday, April 6th, is our ASCRS best of course at the ASCRS meeting in Boston. That is tomorrow, Saturday, April 6th, 8 a.m. I will see you there. I promise you'll learn a whole lot. Now, get in the Rexes and watch carefully. There's the Rexes there. And what happens right here? Oh, it runs out. It run just like that, just that fast. And so maybe what could we have done earlier? Well, maybe a double rexus technique. So start with one small central baby rexus, then really decompress the bag, and then continue. See, now it's all the way out to the zyler support. So now it's trapped in the zyler fibers. It's really going to be difficult to pull it back. You can try the Brian Little maneuver here. That may or may not work. Grabbing it and pull back. But I think continuing as you want to is just not going to happen. So what should you do here? Try the little maneuver. If it doesn't work, you may just have to go around the other way and have it this one weak spot. Okay, cutting with micro scissors is good too. So a little nick there in the capsule of the micro scissors and continuing. Just, oh, look at that. Just keep in mind, you've got this one weak area now. And what's the risk? If you're not gentle during the cataract surgery, that one area can zip back and extend to the posterior capsule. It can go past the lens equator all the way to the posterior capsule. So get this finished up here. Uh, do, you can try that little maneuver. If you don't know what the little maneuver is, you better go to cataractcoach.com, the website, and check it out. Search for that term. Now it's looking a little hot, like a hot mess here, a little bit tougher. Another cut with the scissors. So now we've got two areas that you have to worry about. And so let's see what we do with the FACO. Let us get this sped up here a little bit. Here comes a FACO probe in the eye. And let's see what we're going to do here. Here's a chopper. Again, you want to be gentle in that bag. Don't do too much maneuvering in the bag here because you don't want to rip all the way back to the posterior capsule. Here, burying the phaco tip there and then just doing some sort of chop here. There we go. Bury the probe. and looks like a vertical type chop. And do it again. And you got to do it again and again. Now, how come it rotates so easily even though you didn't do a section? Well, in these white cataracts with the intumescent lens milk, that liquefied stuff is the lens cortex that was liquefied. So it's already hydrodissected naturally before you even get in the eye. And so you oftentimes really don't have to do any hydrodissection here. So you can take these pieces out. Sometimes these are, this is a little denser cataract than we expected. So it can have some attachments there, the posterior aspect of the lens. So just take your time here. Again, I like the technique of bringing the pieces up and not working too much here in the caps or bag. Just chop the pieces, then bring them up and one by one. The reason I like that, well, go to cataractcoach.com, the website. Yeah, you can, there's a whole section on white cataracts. There's a, search for the keyword Argentinian. You'll see all the Argentinian flag sign cases. You can learn how to deal with this. Learn the double rexus technique, right? That's what I would have recommended here. Now taking these pieces out nice and easy, beautiful technique here. Nice and gentle, not putting any pressure on the capsule bag. We have to show these challenging type cases so that when this happens to you, now you say, you know what, I saw a video on this, on Cataract Coach, I know what to do here. So I want to thank our guests certainly for sending in this video. I re really appreciate it. We're all learning here together. And now that last piece comes up, nicely done. And again, be cautious here when you're cleaning up that bag. Don't pull on the capsule in the area where it has radialized. I think we've got those two radialized areas. If you look at our screen here, it's your, let's say, 2 o'clock and your 8 o'clock are probably the position. So you're getting the cortex out nice and easy. Be careful the other, other end. I wouldn't do too much capsule polishing here. Just call it a day and get the lens in the bag and let's go home. Patients are going to be thrilled. Remember, white cataracts are our favorite. They're our favorite because patients go from truly blind, like hand motion or light perception vision, to normal vision with your beautiful surgery. It's one of the best magic tricks and true miracles in all of modern medicine. All right, there's the lens in the bag, beautifully done. Don't worry about the caps at this point. Just clean up the viscoelastic, seat up the incisions. Let's call this a day. Don't be too much of a perfectionist. This is a beautiful outcome right here. More manipulation of that capsule is probably really not a good idea. You don't want to risk anything. Beautiful case. Thank you for sharing it. I trust you learned a lot. And I'll see you tomorrow at our ASRS course.